Hello friends, welcome to Texta Diesel. In this video, I will review a smart digital multimeter from Kavitz. We will test some component with this multimeter and also discuss some smart features you will get with this multimeter. This will not be an unboxing video as I have already started using this multimeter. So here I will share my experience with this multimeter with you. So let's get started. So this is the multimeter. Let me open the box. So we will get the multimeter uh, user manual and to supply this multimeter you need this 3 AAA battery. Now let me open this case which you will get with this multimeter. So here you can see this is the multimeter as I have said I have already started using this multimeter. So let me show you the probe. The quality of the probe is good and this is the multimeter. Look wise it is very premium as you can see I have already inserted the battery you have to open this case and insert this AAA battery. So now let me turn on the multimeter. So here you can see this is the multimeter. Right now it is in smart mode. Now before going to details if you want to purchase this multimeter after watching this video then I have shared the purchase link in the video description. This is made by Kavitz. I will mention all the details in the description. Now this multimeter is in smart mode. Here you can see smart is written. I will discuss all the features of this multimeter but at first let me explain the smart mode of this multimeter. So in the smart mode you don't have to select any scale for voltage, ohm and continuity. Whenever you try to measure voltage or resistance, this multimeter will detect it and automatically select the range for you. Now let me connect the lead with this multimeter. So red lead will go to this terminal and black lead will go to common terminal. Now I will try to measure the voltage. As you can see I haven't selected the scale in this multimeter. So let me try to measure the DC voltage of this 9 volt battery. And here you can see multimeter automatically detect the range and it is showing the reading 9.6 volt. Now let me try to measure the AC voltage. So here you can see again it automatically detect the range. Now it's showing 240 volt AC and it is also showing the frequency which is 49.8 Hertz. So it is very close to 50 Hertz. Now let me try to measure this 220 ohm resistor. So again I haven't select the ohm scale and let me connect it with the multimeter and it is showing the measurement in ohm which is 219 ohm. So the reading is also very close to 220 ohm. Now let me measure this 1 mega ohm resistor with this multimeter and again I haven't select any range and it is showing. 0.9 mega ohm so again the reading is very close to the nominal value of this register so in this way the smart mode works without selecting any scale you can measure the ac dc voltage resistance and you can also check the continuity let me connect these two lead together and here you can see now it is in continuity mode now i will show you another features of this multimeter for measuring current you have to select this milliampere and ampere scale but if you just connect the lead with the milliampere terminal the range will be automatically selected here you can see milliampere scale is selected so you don't have to manually select the range now let me connect it with the 10 ampere terminal and the ampere scale selected so this is a very helpful you don't have to select the range manually again and again this smart multimeter will automatically detect what you want to measure and accordingly show you the reading. Now we will test some other component with this multimeter. Now I will test this diode with this multimeter so I have to select the diode scale. So you have to press this button again and again and here you can see the diode symbol so i have selected the diode scale and this multimeter is in manual mode now 
now i have to connect the diode in reverse polarity so i will connect the black lead with anode and red lead with cathode and this is the band of the diode so this is the cathode and in the screen you can see over limit is showing now i will reverse the lead i will connect red lead with anode and black lead with cathode now i should get the forward voltage of the diode and which is 0.5 volt so this diode is okay in a similar way you can also test a led you have to connect the red lead with anode and black lead with cathode and you can see the led is glowing and in the screen it is showing 1.6 which is the forward voltage of this led so in this way you can test diode leds with this multimeter now let me select the capacitor scale so again i will press this button and this is the capacitor symbol so i have selected the capacitor scale first i will measure this 47 nanofarad capacitor so before measuring any capacitor it is always recommended to short these two leads of the capacitor to discharge it after that i will connect two leads of the multimeter across the capacitor in this way and in the reading you can see 47.5 nanofarad so the reading is very accurate now i will test this 1000 microfarad capacitor you can see 1000 microfarad is written and again before testing the capacitor or measuring the capacitor you have to short two leads to discharge the capacitor now i will connect two leads of the multimeter across the capacitor in this manner and you have to wait for some time and in the reading you can see 994 microfarad and you can also measure the temperature so right now it is 73 fahrenheit or 23 degree celsius and there is also a ncb mode where you can detect live wear so here you can see let me show you the ncb mode let me turn off the supply so here you can see you will not hear any beep sound this is the ncb sensor let me turn it on and you will get this beep sound so in this way you can detect any live wire with this ncb mode and with this two scale you can measure the ampere and milliampere current so currently i have connected the lead with this terminal and it is showing me the warning that i have to change the lead to milliampere scale so this is a very good safety features you will get with this multimeter and you will also get the auto power off mode with this multimeter so after certain time if you don't use this multimeter the multimeter will automatically turn off this symbol indicate the auto power off mode is turned on and you can also control this mode from this button and this is a 9999 counts multimeter so you will get always accurate reading with this multimeter and apart from that you will also get a torch light you can see the torch light is very decent let me turn it off you can control it with this button these are some main features of this multimeter and they have provided all the features in details in this user manual and overall i have found this multimeter is very useful so if you want to purchase it you can find the purchase link in the video description so if you find this video useful then please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day